tell you on newtons per second, I need to make a couple of motor adapters. So I'm going to make a 29 motor mount adapter that fits in a 38 millimeter motor mount tube. And I need to make a 54, or actually a 38 millimeter adapter to fit in a 54 millimeter motor tube. And that's the project today. And we'll get started. So I just started making my center rings. So my idea is, this is all custom though, so this is not a kit. So I need to make center rings that are going to fit in there, and that's a really small clearance here. So I have an idea how I'm going to do that. And then that's going to go, and here's my 38 millimeter motor tube. And this, this will be my adapter. Got my hole cutter ready. And this one works out nice where it is pretty, pretty close, same diameter. Now I'm just going to give a rough cut. Alright, so unfortunately, because of the plywood I'm using to make these, if I cut too close, they're going to chip. So I'm going to keep this like this and I'll just sand down the, the rings to fit this tight clearance I got on, the, on this custom setup I got going on here. Okay, so I'll be using 5 minute Gorilla Epoxy. But first, before I put the center rings on, I need to mark where I want them to go. So, probably one here and one right about here. So at least I can do a little, like a little fillet type of thing. Alright, let's mix this up. Let this set, and then I'll just grind down these points here to the clearance I need to get into the coupler. A little tedious, but after some grinding, I got a couple of the center rings down. I don't have a laser cutter to make these fine center rings, so the front part I want to be able to slide in the motor tube, and that I got that. And now these 
back ones are just really, 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 really thin. So I want that to slide right into the coupler. And there you go. So I just need to grind this one down like this and then I'm going to glue this in, epoxy it in. Ah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Look at the tolerance in that. <laughs> so, 29 millimeter motor mount tube. This is a 38 millimeter coupler. 38 millimeter motor, motor mount tube. And that will go in just like that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a just a little piece off to make a thrust ring and I will glue that on the edge here too. And that's it. I got to glue it together and we're done. Got the chop saw out. Probably overkill for this. Very nice. Just gotta sand the edges up. There you go, thrust ring. All right. Mixing up the 5 minute epoxy from Gorilla. Push it forward, get a nice bead on there. So I'm going to let this sit and then I can add some more more epoxy down there. Alright, it took a little time, but got it all together. I got my fillet filled in, if I guess you want to say that, <laughs> all the way around the centering that's in there. This is filled in nice. If I really want to get, a, again, like a, a motor retainer, the, like the screw-on kind, you know, I could clean this up a little bit. But I am usually just making a plate with uh, two T-nuts and just hold the motor in anyway so yeah there it is I'm gonna let it dry and uh, yeah I got a little epoxy here if it's a problem I'll just sand it down there's my thrust ring and yeah custom made I'm pretty happy with that so there you go there is a 29 millimeter ad adapter to fit in a 38 millimeter motor mount tube Okay, so here's the next project, it is a 38 millimeter motor mount tube adapter to fit a 54 millimeter. I've had this kit for probably almost 20 years, so I'm going to put it together and uh, yeah, I got a rocket that's going to come in that could probably use this, so I'll assemble it before it comes in. So the kit has a 54 millimeter coupler tube, 
Here's your thrust ring, two center rings. This is a lock. Uh, the bird was flying low. This is a lock motor mount tube. And looks like I just have to sand it just a little bit very carefully. I don't have a lot going on today, so I don't mind doing a little sanding. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, there's one. Again, this one here is about the same fit. So, I'll sand this, be right back. Five and a half. Make my mark. Yeah, I almost forgot. I gotta sand this down a little bit. Get rid of that shine. Get something for the epoxy to stick to. Again, mix the epoxy thoroughly. I like to keep mixing it until it, uh, it's getting the sunlight here. It almost changes color. It starts getting a little thick. There we go. Feel pretty good about that. Double checking my marks here, they all seem to be right on. Just make sure this is fitting well. And we are looking good. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit and dry. Again, push it, push it on. You can see how it kind of makes its own, own fillet there. Have my bead here. I know I'm going to lose a little bit here, but. I was going to do it the other way, try to feed this in after, but it's such a thin spot, I don't know. Five minute epoxy. It's not really set in five minutes. It's only like 60 degrees out today, so. Thrust ring is tight fitting. Again, I'm pushing it up, making that, it's kind of making its own fillet. See how it's doing that, and I can just take my finger and smooth out the glue. There we go. I'll be honest with you, I thought I was, <laughs> I was running out of epoxy. This is my last tube. There we go. 
Yeah, that looks nice. Looks nice. Smooth this out down here. Actually, that slid in on me. Oops. There we go. Grab something like this. Just so I can reach in there and push this epoxy in there. Yeah, look at that. Fill that right in. So all right, there it is, 54 millimeter or 38 to 54 millimeter adapter. What I may do later is put a center ring up here. I don't know if it's really going to be necessary. I think this is long enough, so this end's not going to be, you know, you know, wiggling around up top. So, but I have seen adapters. That they just glue a centering up here. But I'll have to see how they fit. But cool, that's it. I figured I'd shoot one more video now that these adapters are completely cured and you can handle them. I just want to sand off the little bit of epoxy that I accidentally got on there. So I'll just take some. Uh, some mini grip here, and I'll just just sand these down a little bit until they fit in nice. All right, so I got some more sanding done on the 29 millimeter, 38 millimeter adapter. Uh, do another test fit. I mean, that's pretty smooth. I've got my blue lightning rocket. This is a 38 millimeter motor mount on this rocket. Now if I want to fly, say on like an I-205, which is a 29 millimeter, I can just put in my adapter and I am ready to go. So, yeah, works out well. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Hey, this is Josh from Newtons Per Second. Thanks everyone for watching this little episode here of making my motor mount adapters. Uh, one of the motor mount adapters is going to be for a composite warehouse kit coming in, a Lotus 5 inch kit. And I also have a custom kit I'm going to put together with their parts also. So it's, that's another project coming up. And one of those, the 54 millimeter adapter will be for the, the Lotus 8. And uh, yeah, hopefully, flying season will be soon. I've got all these other projects that I've been that I've started. And I need to fly, and I want to see how well they do. I've got the McDonald's parachute, you know, all these things I want to test. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So thanks everyone for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.